Good morning. Uh, we got Dana White on the phone. He wants to wish you a happy birthday oh, from okay. the UFC. And uh, he only has a few minutes, so okay. let's do yes. this first. Dana White. And then we're going to get uh, Sabra Cadaver to play some, some tunes for you. Uh, Dana. Good morning. Good morning. Dana White from the UFC, of course. How are you, sir? I'm great. How are you guys doing? Good, Good. man. How are you? It's uh, Jimmy's birthday. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, thanks for taking care of me and uh, Bob Kelly uh, when we were out there. Dude, I, I had a really great time. It was the first fight I ever went to. It was the, uh, was the Rampage Jackson uh, Forrest Griffin fight. And uh, it was Pleasure, amazing, man. dude. Pleasure. I'm glad you. Uh, you know, did you, <laughs> did you see on the internet they were putting out that. Uh, you're dating Mandy Moore because you were sitting right next to her? I, I know. You should have seen me. I saw the Fox cameras ready to, to go to Mandy Moore, and you've never seen someone sit down and look straight ahead faster than me. And that's why dumb Bob, you see half his stomach in most of those pictures, <laughs> because he has no television instincts whatsoever. <laughs> and the only, my only criticism was I went to the after party, and it was, it was, a, it was a good time in, in the club, but a few more chicks next time. Oh, yeah. Is he all right? Event. There was like 50 uh, guys yeah. and one girl. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. That's what the UFC after parties are usually like, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Just, and they can't compete with those alpha males. You it's, know? Like, it's like the accused. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't have. How come God didn't stand up? Why aren't you going to sit down? Yeah, sit down somewhere. Just, what, just grab a seat. Yeah, yeah, seats. Seats. yeah, yeah sit sure. down. Why are we hey. making the black man stand? Yeah, why the black what man What the hell is that stand? about? Damn it. We don't know about to win. We thought you were the waiter. Hey, Dana. Yeah. Jesus. We have, uh, it's really loud in here, but I, 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 you know, he's our pal, Rampage Jackson. What do we know? Oh yeah, is he all right? Yeah, yeah. He, well, he's all right. Yeah. I mean, when, when the first when the thing happened, it made no sense to me whatsoever. I mean, I've known him for a long time. He's a good guy. Um, and then once I went out there, you know, I was there when he got out, and uh, then it all made sense. He, he actually went yesterday. He's been checked into a hospital uh, for psych evaluation. Did he have a? Was it? Did that loss uh, really, really hurt him, man? Because um, he looked. I saw him at the press conference afterwards. I mean, you can never tell how much physical injury somebody has. But did that loss really affect him uh, badly? It, it must have. I mean, I, I don't know what he's going through right now. It's, you know, like I said, this guy's a friend of mine. Uh, he, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's and, a funny uh, guy too. Yeah, we yeah. love when he comes yeah. on our show, and he uh, he's awesome. Something, him because it yeah. just didn't seem like uh, it was part of his character that we knew. Yeah, no, he's he, it's not. It's not a part of his character at all. He's he's a good guy, and yeah. uh, that's why I said it made no sense to me. And then once I went down and met, talked with him, it absolutely made sense to me then. What? And, why? Did you just seem like he was not the same guy you knew? Yeah, totally. And it wasn't. Uh, it, it it didn't seem to you at least like it was anything. That had been taken, it just seemed like something that somebody had mentally just had yeah. like a real no, rough they, time? They, let me tell you, it was so crazy. They took him, when they tried to check him in, you know, uh, you know, book him, they could They took him to the hospital instead to get checked out. Obviously, one of the things they do is drug test you. Right. You know, and uh, he, he wasn't on drugs. Rampage doesn't do drugs. Well, did he get hit too hard or any of that crap, or is it... You know uh, what, he's, 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 he, he, he became born again, like, yeah, about... 2003, yeah, and uh, you know, he he started going on some crazy fasting thing after this uh, fight, and and didn't drink anything but water and, and energy drinks for like four or five days. Wow. Yeah, and uh, didn't sleep a lot, and you know, pretty crazy. So, so he's uh, getting checked out as we speak, huh? He, no, he's literally in the hospital. He's been in the hospital since yesterday. How long is he uh, going to be in there? I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? And how how about because um, it was it was a really a great fight. I mean, uh, it, it Rampage got kicked in the I think the second round. It, it, it was such a devastating kick that he was actually hobbling. To see him hobbling was kind of uh, unsettling. And then he uh, then he spent the whole second round on his back, just trying to keep Forrest, you know, kind of just to kind of recover. Uh, but I I actually thought he won the fight. I mean, I, I was really close. Rogan disagrees. though. Rogan thought that Forrest took it. What is uh, what is <laughs> Forrest's next fight? Um. We don't know yet. We don't know when he'll fight again. But my, my, my partner Lorenzo had it a draw. I had it even going into the uh, last round, and I gave the last round to Forrest. Right. Um, it was a close fight. I mean, it, either way, the only thing what was really bad was you could go Rampage won the fight, it was a draw, or Forrest won the fight. I mean, that's how a lot of people feel. But the, the scoring where Forrest won by two rounds and stuff like that is crazy. It was terrible, yeah, because I, especially when you're taking a champion's belt and... Um, you know what I mean? It's got to be kind of like a, maybe they just didn't like Rampage, or even if they gave it to Forrest, you're right. I thought the scoring was a little bit uh, anti anti Quentin. I, I 
couldn't agree with you more. That's why I always tell these guys, you know, you know what you do to keep that from happening? Don't let it go to the scorecards. Don't give the judges an opportunity huh. to do that to you. Yeah, well, I think he had said that, too, in the pre-fight stuff, that he wasn't going to let it go mm-hmm. uh, all, all the way. And unfortunately for him, it did. He, you know, laying off for nine months is kind of tough. Uh, but Rampage is so strong. I mean, uh, he really, you could see he was really hurting uh, uh, Griffin, uh, like, I guess, the third and the fourth round in that fight. And Absolutely. I, I felt bad for him to see him lose it, but... And then he's got that power when, when he, he got caught in that submission and how he just picks guys right up. Uh, and then he was getting ready to slam Forrest and Forrest stood up, remember? Yeah, he picked, he, Rampage picked him up because Rogan said he had grappled once with, with Rampage and he said he's so strong that he just, he just picked him up like a child off the ground and was going to slam Of course he didn't because they were just, uh, just kind of grappling yeah. around in, in, in practice. All right. It's amazing. He really is a powerful guy. And, and Liddell, Liddell had gotten hurt uh, when he was supposed to fight in England. He's fighting uh, where, in Atlanta? Yeah, he's fighting in Atlanta now in uh, September. Can we go? We would love to. Uh, uh, you uh, yeah. you want to go? <laughs> yeah, I want to go. You guys, you guys are in. Whenever you guys want to go to a fight, it's done. You guys D- are in. You got uh, it. And, Dane, I want to explain again. You invited all of us to the, the Vegas thing, and I, I had a family vacation that was planned months in advance, and I'm, I'm, I was dying knowing that Jimmy was out there with Bob Kelly having a great time. So I, I, I want to go to the Atlanta one, man. Um, yeah, no, Don, you guys can go whenever you want to. Whenever you're ready to come to a fight, you're in. I want to see. Oh, that's cool. Well, I wanted to go to the Vegas one, but nobody told me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invited. Rich Voss, thank you. Um, <laughs> Leech. So who is, who is Chuck fighting in September? He's fighting Rashad Evans. Now, if he wins that, obviously people want to see Liddell. I mean, he, you know, he's, I think he's the biggest name in UFC. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm being, like, really, you know, n- in knowledge saying that. Yeah. Uh, what, what are the odds of him fighting uh, Griffin if Griffin wins his next uh, uh, first defense? He's, he's, they're definitely both big stars. If he beat Rashad Evans, yeah, you could definitely see a Forrest Griffin uh, Chuck Liddell fight. That would be nice. I mean, uh, I mean, Liddell's been around for a long time, so uh, I'd like to see him get the belt before he decides to, uh, you know, whatever he decides yeah, to retire. How many, how many more years do you think uh, Liddell has? I don't know. It's, it's a tough question, you know, because uh, Couture, you know, has lasted, you know, 44 years old. Chuck Liddell is 38, and uh, I'll tell you what, his next couple of fights will probably tell the tale. Yeah. My, one of my new favorite human beings, and I, 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 I didn't like him until when he knocked out Krokop, but Gonzaga... Is a savage, isn't he? I, isn't he? You, he really is. You can't book him on headline fight because literally, what was it? A minute and a half into the first round, Oof. he's just got a foot like a mule. And uh, <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he break Randy's arm? And Randy's still won the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Man. He broke he, his arm kicking it. Yeah. Uh-huh. He kicked him and broke his arm. Wow. So that guy is he? Uh, he has a long future in the UFC. I hope. Hello? He is. He's oh. unbelievable. Gonzaga <laughs> is a beast. You know, we, we, I thought that that guy was going to dominate the heavyweight division for a long time, you know, and he's had a couple of setbacks. But you're right. When he fights, the guy comes out to absolutely destroy you. How did he, did he lose uh, uh, just due to inexperience? I mean, he's got eight, th- eight, eight 11 fights. He's 8-3. and three. I mean, yeah. Was... yeah, I think it was. I think it was an experience. Um, you know, time's going to tell with this guy. He, uh, we saw what he did to Crow Cop. You saw what he did in the last fight. And, and he's done that to a lot of people that he's fought. He's, he's a very, very... Uh, tough guy, very well rounded. I think it's an experience factor for him right now. And uh, last time you called, you, you were you were very uh, comfortable. You were shitting on Fedor. I mean, he's fighting tomorrow night. Um, do you think he's just overrated, or do you think he's going to murder who he's fighting? Well, I think that Fedor, uh, you know, in, in, in his day, was a great fighter and could be considered a great fighter. He hasn't fought anybody since 2005. You know what I mean? Right. Everybody talks about, oh, Fedor, this. It's 2008. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't fought anybody since 2005. Hey, hey. Who, who do you like in the British Open? <laughs> 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 they should get a little extreme golf going on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dana, when are you going to get into the New York market? We're working on that right now. Uh, what the uh, fuck is taking so long, man? Madison I know, Square Garden. I, I know it's not you, but they, the, <laughs> it's, boxing. It's still, it's still illegal in New York, right? Yeah, we, we've been working on it for that a sucks. long time. I thought we'd be in there uh, this year. Not looking like we're going to be in there till next year. Now, New York and Massachusetts, the two what? states that aren't done yet. Jesus, it's ridiculous, it's crazy. Yep, it is ridiculous. Dana, I agree. How hard are you going to get when the the call comes that you can bring the UFC to Madison Square Garden? Oh yeah, yeah. No, we're pumped, man. I, I, both. 
I want to do Madison Square Garden and the Boston Garden. I'm excited for both of them. You guys will sell them both out, too, because people know that the last two holdouts. It's just that the people who are involved in boxing and the garden are so deeply entrenched. Yeah. And, of course, no one would ever imply corruption in Boston. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just a coincidence that the same fucking people have been there since 1940. Exactly. <laughs> 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 fucking mushmouth asshole that guy yeah. is. But you guys will get in. I mean, it's a legitimate sport everywhere. So uh, you, you'll certainly get I, in. I got to ask Dana one more question. What is the last really rich thing you did? Rich? Really rich thing I yeah. did? Yeah, this guy loves uh, spending his money and having fun with it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, actually, I don't act like a rich asshole, to be honest no, with you. No, I know I, that, I, but... I don't. You know, uh, the last probably crazy thing that I did with my money that... I'm probably going to be MC Hammer in about four years. Uh, I'm going to be on VH1 going, I had it all. I had cars and money. And now I'm broke. I, uh, about ten years ago, I, I went to this summer com concert festival, uh -huh. and Joan Jett and the Blackhearts played. And Joan Jett was so badass. I was blown away by how good she was. You know, I was never a huge Joan Jett fan. Yeah, I love rock and roll. It's a great song and stuff. I saw her play, and I was blown away by her. So... About a month and a half ago, I rented out the Viper Room in L.A. Right. and had Joan Jett and the Blackhearts come play there for me and a few of my friends. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, uh, what another dime in a jukebox, baby. <laughs> you want to do something great. crazy, though? You want to spend money properly, man? When you're in Atlanta, you buy a hooker for Jim Norton. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a great way to spend money. That's no, right. if you're rich, that's you got to do those things. Yeah, yeah, of course. Flush bars of gold down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking, you just got to do rich things. Yeah. Dana White knows how to do rich sure. things. Well, Dana, thanks a lot, man, and, and thanks so much for uh, uh, for taking such good care of us. Like I, I told you, I told you in person, I saw you, but usually, you know, you get the, the the people yes you to death, but we were taken care of better than anybody ever has. So it's really appreciated. Let man. me jump in, Dana. Uh, Jimmy came back. He couldn't believe how well you you took care of uh, him and Bob Kelly. Like it, it was just over the top over the top you guys were uh, just uh, a class act no my pleasure man I, I appreciate it let me tell you what uh, you, you, uh, thank you I appreciate you guys giving us the support and uh Right back at you, man. Anytime you guys want to come to an event, you're in. I will see you at the Liddell fight in Atlanta. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. So, Thanks, right. man. Take care, Dana. Dana Thank White you. from the UFC. Mm -hmm. so, Jimmy's birthday. Yeah. Jimmy's Fuck birthday. birthday. Yes. What is he? Does he run the... He's the boss. He's the 